okay so this video is going to be a little different from the other ones because in this one and i'm going to do a step by step actually because i want to really teach you or show you how you could do this on your own so i'm just going to basically explain what is happening here uh, so that when you're creating these renders for your clients yeah you will you will know what to do and you will instead of following something step by step you'll have an idea so you could create it for yourself first of all you will notice the reference image let me just pull up the reference all right so what we see here this is a reference i got from the internet there's one reference i pull up i actually typed in a bluetooth speaker lifestyle images or something like that and this was just one i saw from this we could be able to get an idea of what we could do so what we see immediately now of course the speaker here is is in focus as we can see they choose to put some greenery in it. That is an option as well too. Not a must, but it's a nice option. And it's a post in the back. But you notice that it's blurred out. And so that this takes all the focus. And also to the composition of the image is important. So as soon as you look at the image, you could tell, well, this is the speaker here that you're trying to, to, to have in, in focus to show you. And it also uh, gives you an idea of where you could use the speaker in your home. And the person's listening to music, that kind of thing. So this is what you think about when you're creating those lifestyle images or renders. So in our scene here, you notice I created a simple room of half a room, I should say. And this is the camera here. Now this this is just simple. The wall here is just about uh, 2.5 meters high. And well, the X and Y is not that important in this instance, but just the, the height. So you get an idea or you model a simple room like this. And I added a, a boolean. So I put a boolean. You see boolean is a boolean in the wall. And I added this sliding door. I got all of this from blender kit the add-on it seemed to be giving some trouble in this blender version nevertheless i didn't try it again but that's where i got it from so i added this this window here and i just imported this coats again from blender kit i believe and the floor when i go into render view in fact let me do that now so let me just split the window and i'm going to press zero to enable camera view i'm going to press z and go into render view so you see what is happening let me turn off the overlays for now so this is an idea of what is what is happening so what we see similar to this image here in the reference our speaker here is in focus so to get that i actually put the uh, with the camera in the camera settings i changed the f-stop to 1.4 right so that this could be able to be uh, in focus and the rest blurred out and of course i put the the focus arrow i actually selected i took the eyedropper and selected the label there so uh, it's actually focusing in this on this plane here just to create some balance in the image you notice that I moved this lamp. So you see you see the lamp there. It just gives balance to the image. It, it, it completes the scene so you know where it is in the living room. All right. And then the couch is there in the background. You may not have noticed as well too, which is very important, the colors used. So our speaker here is mainly this brown, this tan color. And you notice it's, it's complemented by the green couch. That is definitely something to keep in mind as well. Not all the time, but it's a good habit uh, to have, a good practice, so that you have some complementary colors. All right, so that's why I have this green and brown, and then the cream, the cream walls. One other thing too, with the camera data settings, I went to the drop the comp the drop down composition guide and selected thirds. So if I turn on our overlays, you notice that our speaker here, it falls in this, this third. This is where you want to place the object of interest in, in any one of these, any one of these intersections is where you want to put it. So in, we could, for example, see like the camera, press GZ, and it could be, it could be here as well too. All right. Uh, it's actually up to you, up to how you want to be able to compose the shot. But in my case, I, I, I did it where the speaker is below here and made sure it's on this intersection. Let me turn off this for now. I'll show you as well in the, I left this so that I can adjust it while I'm doing this video. In our render settings, if we scroll all the way down to color management, I'm using of course the, the new AGX the view transform and the look, I set it to base contrast. You usually have it a punchy for other product shots, but now remember for a lifestyle shot, you, you typically want it to be a nice bright shot. So we put it on base contrast, for example, and then it increase the exposure to one, for example. That's the kind of shot you're looking for. Maybe, maybe a little less, but you get it, something like that. So now let me save that. When I press F12 to render this, you see what it looks like. All right. So this took a little while to render, close to a minute. And I believe, right, I believe it has to do with the floors. So if I, if you look at the floor, I have some high quality floors there. That is not visible in the camera. So I could disable that. So sometimes you need to do things like that to be able to speed up the renders. As long as it's not visible in the camera. 
no need to actually have that detail. The thing is I created this room for multiple uses. So that's why there's, there's that flow. You'll notice that it's, it's bare. We could be able to adjust this camera, for example, here in the viewport to different, different shots, different scenes, different angles. And you could use this on multiple locations for different clients. So you could have, this is for example, a living room, sort of skeleton room where you could add the objects. You could create a simple one with a kitchen where you just simply uh, drag and drop a counter and maybe some pots and pans. You know what I mean? But save these blend files, save these, these items so that you could be able to quickly bring them in. If you have to do that for client rent, you don't want to be remodeling these rooms, adding all those booleans. You simply just want to be able to drag and drop. All right. Uh, so I, may, I mentioned this, that you get an idea of the workflow. So just to reiterate again, I'm giving you this, this, this file, but you create on your own, create a few rooms, take some time, create a few simple rooms like this. Oh, one thing I forgot in the world settings, I just added a sky text here, Nishita, and I set the strength to 0 0.05. Uh, so if I turn off all the, the lights, so in my camera and lights, if I turn off, where is it? The window light, and I also turn off the lamp. Where's the lamp? Low lamps, the second one. So if I turn off this lamp here, right? So you'll notice that there's some ambient light, and that is that comes from this sky text here. So if I turn this to zero, then the scene is black. All right, but it's, so it's 0 0.05. You get some light in the scene and, and then you add these lights and the other one, the, the window light. That is simple. This is simply a, a plane with animation on it. If I, if I go to the shader editor, you'll see that it's just that. It's strength set to 25. All right. And it looks like it, it's, it's, there's the sunlight coming through. So no need for anything complicated, but this is what you do for lifestyle shots. You simply pull up a reference. You study it. Of course, the client will talk to you, get an idea of what they want. As long as you have scenes like this, you could be able to look at some references and come up with your own ideas, not thinking, overthinking it. In this case, you know, just I put a table, I just put a different table. It's a different speaker. I didn't choose to put a plant here. You could do that or not. I blur the background. There's this chair, but I put a couch instead. Uh, I put this lamp there. You, you get the idea. So you get the, you, you get a reference and you get an idea. You don't have to copy it, you know, exactly. But this is general idea. And this will look very professional. In the next video, we're going to look at uh, compositing. We're going to look at a compositing because that is very important when it comes to iterations with clients. All right. So that is very important. So this is a chapter that, that I highly suggest that you look at. Uh, pay close attention so that you see what you could do to avoid wasting too much time. And you'll be able to produce some quality renders for your clients. All right. So I'll see you in the next chapter.